This is Velmut Sisson with Inspections by Bob. I want to take a few minutes today and dispel a couple of myths and misconceptions about what it takes to be a home inspector. Misconception number one, you need a construction background to be a home inspector. That's not true. What you need to do is take a really good class that teaches you about construction systems, construction methods and techniques, and learn how to spot the clues and defects that tell the story of the house so that you can communicate that to your client. Misconception number two, you need a lot of expensive tools to do a home inspection. That's not true either. You actually only need four tools in order to do a Maryland home inspection. One of them is a one-story ladder. You also need a good flashlight. You need a simple circuit tester and a screwdriver. That's all you need. Misconception number three, it's a dangerous profession. Now granted, every year home inspectors are injured, but those are the ones who try to do things that aren't safe. The Maryland law allows you to not perform a service if, in your opinion, it is not safe. For example, when it's raining, I'm not going to go climbing on a roof because the roof may be slippery. Misconception number four, home inspection is no job for women. Also very untrue. Now granted, fewer than 2% of home inspectors in America are women. There is no reason why women can't do just as well as men on home inspections. It's not really a physically taxing job. If you can carry a ladder, you can be a home inspector and houses really don't care. Misconception number five, home inspection isn't a profession. Also very much not true. Home inspectors are held to a very high standard of education, ethics, and behavior. We're highly trained. We know a lot about all the different systems in your home and how to connect all the dots so that you have the complete story. Misconception number six, you're on your own. That's not true either. There's lots of resources available to home inspectors for education, support, or just camaraderie. There are home inspector associations that have monthly meetings. There are conferences all around the country, and there are also webinars that you can attend. Misconception number seven, the market is saturated. Sure, you're not gonna be the only home inspector in town, but that doesn't mean that there isn't plenty of work for everybody. Houses are being bought and sold every day, plus there's people getting ready to sell their homes. There are people who want to get a home checkup. The business is out there. You just have to be the one to go get it. Misconception number eight, you can't make a living being a home inspector. Again, not true. Many full-time home inspectors make a very comfortable living doing inspections. Sometimes they even have employees that do the inspections for them. They're multi-inspector firms. Now granted, those are people who have had a couple of years experience under their belt, but it's not impossible to get there. Misconception number nine, it takes years to get traction as a home inspector. Well, false and true. If you are going on your own as an independent home inspector starting your own business, sure, it can take a couple of years to ramp up and to get really busy. But if you want to hit the ground running, you can be hired by another home inspection company, buy a franchise, join a multi-inspector firm. It's lots of different options. Misconception number 10. The only way to get business is to market to realtors. That used to be true, but now it's false. The majority of our customers find us via the internet. Most people aren't finding their homes via the internet. So if you have a really good website and good search engine optimization, you'll be able to get business without having to spend money marketing to realtors. The final thing to remember is that you need to take a really good training class. Maryland requires it in order to become a home inspector. It's part of the licensing process. 
One of the really great classes is one that I teach at Frederick Community College. The next semester starts on February 12th. It's an all-day class running from February 12th until February 28th. We'll be in class learning about all the different aspects of home construction and home inspection, a lot of defect recognition. You'll come away from that class ready to take the National Home Inspector exam and ready to start your new career.